Hi everyone and welcome to XCDA 1003 at Mount Royal University. Since this course is structured a little bit differently than the previous two courses that you've completed in this program, I figured that I would throw together a quick video just to show you what you can expect in terms of where to find everything in the course and in terms of the assignments that you'll be completing this term. Now the first thing that you'll notice once you get inside of the course is that you'll have announcements on the home page. Please take a minute or two to look through those every time you log in just to make sure that you're up to speed and see if there's anything new that's been posted. You should already be familiar with where to find most of the resources in the course having completed the two previous courses in this program. But just as a quick refresher, you have a navigation bar on the left side of your screen and the main areas for you to be concerned with are the content and the discussion board. Now if you look quickly at the discussion board, we'll start there and you'll see that there are already some discussions created and the first one is questions and help. Please use this form if you have any general questions about the course content, about how to complete assignments, things like that. Your classmates may benefit from your question and from the response. Some others may be wondering the exact same thing. However, if you have a question for your instructor that is sensitive or private or urgent uh, or time sensitive in nature, then feel free to send along that email. You'll notice as well that there are a number of forms created called Assignment 1 Discussion, Assignment 2 and 3 Discussion, and Assignment 4 Discussion. These are for the weekly discussion activities. So week 1 we'll be using this first one, weeks 2 and 3 this second one here and week four we will be using this one. More on that once we get into the description of the assignments in just a moment. That other important area is the content area. If you click in here you will notice that you can download a copy of the course outline. I highly encourage you to take the time to download that and review it before diving into the materials. You'll find all of the weekly modules here under the learning modules area and then under the assignments folder you will find copies of the instructions for all four assignments as well as buttons for submitting those assignments directly to your instructor through Blackboard. Besides the assignment descriptions themselves there's also some supplementary files you'll need for completing each of the assignments and where the rubric is not already embedded in the assignment description I've added a copy of that rubric so you can see exactly how you can expect to be evaluated on each of your assignments. Now let's take a quick look at what you can expect for each of the four weeks of this course. In week one you should be introducing yourself in the introductions discussion forum and reading that first module. You'll also complete the first discussion activity. You'll post a description of that module that you've been working on in the previous two courses. Just drop a copy of that description. It only needs to be a few sentences into the discussion forum for assignment one and then you'll complete assignment one. And for assignment one what you're going to be doing is looking at a sample of a course blueprint or course template and you're going to be looking at a before and after vision of that uh, of that activity of that of that course and you'll have a series of questions for comparing the before and the after and they'll be basically taking into account some of the principles we've looked at in the previous two courses and in week one of this course. For week two you're going to read modules two and three and you're going to view the instructor's design plan that was used when creating XCDA 1003 and with that you will then be able to answer some discussion questions in the form and then you'll be able to complete assignment two. Assignment 2 lets you dive into that module that you've been working on in the previous two courses and you're going to actually start uh, completing your own design plan template for that course and uh, adding in maybe two to three different activities building on the principles that we've looked at in the previous two courses and in this course. You're going to post your completed design plan in the discussion form and submit it via the Blackboard Dropbox. In week 3 you're going to read through module four and you'll have some more discussion considerations but you're going to be working in a small group to complete assignment three. So for assignment three you're going to take a deep look at that assignment two that you posted in the discussion forum and you're going to provide some peer feedback to two or three of your classmates 
And some of the examples of the questions are here on the bottom of the screen. Don't worry, they're embedded right in the assignment three description. In week four, no new materials to read. You're just gonna complete assignment four, which is to take the peer feedback that you got from assignment three and complete your design plan. And once you've done that, you're gonna be given a series of questions, questions like the ones on the bottom of the screen now, and you'll complete some reflections on your design plan activity. Remember when you're submitting your assignments, submit them to the Blackboard assignment Dropbox. Please try to avoid using spaces in your file names. It does cause some problems with displaying your assignment inside of Blackboard. And make sure you submit it by 11.59 p.m. on the actual due date, which is typically Sunday at the end of each week of the course. Once again, welcome to XCDA 10003. I hope you enjoy the course.